Okay. Any other questions on the legal bills? Mr. Ewell. So with that question in mind, we're still going to approve? What? We're still going to vote on the... Uh, yes. I yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I move to <coughs> approve legal bills for February 2010 in the amount of $11,085 as follows. Complement on the page, PC General, uh, $4,518.04. Complement on the page, PC Labor, $6,020. And complement on the page, PC Water, $210 uh, West. $336.96 for a grand total of $11,085. Second. Motion by Mr. Yule, second by Mr. O'Leary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Vote is four to one. I think this is a no, Sean. I think all of us will expect the report back from Greg on that. Yeah, I'm sure we'll go. Okay. All right, next item on our agenda is to review the uh, April Town Meeting and Special Town Meeting Warrant Assignments. Uh, rather than crunch it in on Monday night and give everybody <laughs> a week to prepare, not that the first section of this requires a lot, but on the Special Town Meeting, we have three articles. <coughs> is, uh, article 12 up a bit tonight? Look at Article 12. I'm sorry. Where are you evolving from? Who wants to do that one? Is it what? That one should be good. <laughs> uh, I, I'm right now I'm on the special town meeting, no, Steve. No special. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the rain back. You'll take the rain back. <laughs> so the, on the budget amendment, uh, Could, uh, yes. Can I just update you? I, I, I hopefully don't need to update I only want to update you on items that have changed since this has last been discussed. Mm -hmm. There are um, there are a couple of items that we've been watching, and and uh, <clears throat> first of all, this article deals with twenty thousand dollars to be transferred um, f from the stabilization fund for you fuel and utility costs in town building. It's part of the reserve that was voted in June for additional utility costs. And the second item that we talked about was transferring $41,500 from the Solid Waste Stabilization Fund to supplement the Solid Waste Budget. How much was the second $41,500. The, the, the two things that have come to light um, very recently is, you know, from the storm event that took place uh, two weeks ago, we did incur some um, additional costs. We have submitted a preliminary assessment to uh, the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency documenting the town's costs. It's possible that we may receive reimbursement at some later date for our costs or a portion thereof. However, the um, public safety, police, fire, and DPW did incur some additional personnel costs totaling approximately $34,000. And um, if you would consider um, action under this article, we do have available funds that can be transferred from uh, budgets with surpluses, and those monies could be dedicated to the um, salary pool so it will give us some control in terms of the expenditure of those monies being actually going out but my fear is as we get closer to the end of the fiscal year we're really short of the reserve fund we don't have a mechanism to be able to fund those additional costs and the second item that uh, me, that would be from where it would be from um source of funds would be from the uh We have uh, budget transfers, a surplus in the county retirement assessment, property and liability, and workers' comp. And in terms of the actual source of funding, it'll be from one of those two accounts. And how much are you planning? 34000 34000 So from, in terms of what you say, uh, county retirement, county retirement, property, liability, or workers' comp. The second item for your consideration this evening is um, is speaking with the new veterans agent. She has uh, gone ahead and, and done a review of uh, anticipated veterans benefits through the end of the year. And she estimates that um, there's approximately $18,000 in additional benefits according to her estimates that she foresees coming forward. Um, 
additionally, there was some additional costs involved in her training um, <clears throat> as the new veterans agent, totaling $800. So the total amount would be $18,800. The training costs are 100% reimbursable by the Commonwealth, but they'll be reimbursed at a later date. And the uh, veterans benefits, as you, you know, are 75% reimbursed by the Commonwealth. So the town would fulfill its obligations. If we didn't fund it in this manner, then it would require an action of the reserve fund. And my concern is what's happening out there right now, um, additional costs associated with uh, the storm event that is taking place. That will require. So I would ask you to consider whether you would um, look to fund the veterans agent budget by $18,800 and the salary pool by $34,000, um, both of which would be contained under special town meeting article number one. The, uh, on, on the veterans benefits, right, how does that work on a normal year? I mean, we don't, we don't budget that full amount, do we? We go to the reserve fund. We, we go to the reserve fund if we're overrun, and yeah. then we get 75% of that money back? We do. And, and how do, uh, does that follow <coughs> quickly, or is it like No, it typically in follows year? in the next fiscal year. Next fiscal year. And it comes in as a um, general cherry sheet receipt, so it's available source of funds. It doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily get earmarked for that purpose. Same source of funding, kind of retirement? Same thing, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. One other question, are we, well, Sean, you, you haven't mentioned it, but have you, uh, has there been any feedback from the uh, Superintendent of Public Works in relation to uh, infrastructure repair, road repairs, um, as a result of the weather that we've had? I mean, there seems to be an inordinate amount. And there's a, a lot of roads crumbling a up. A lot of roads that are, that are crumbling, mm. um, potholes and you know, the resurfacing has, has lifted and things of that nature. I would think it's going to require some attention in short order rather than uh, over the long haul. And uh, has there been any feedback from I Dick did. in relation to uh, I did. maybe addressing that sooner rather than later? I did. I uh, printed up because as part of the uh, submittal that the town had to make to the Mass Emergency Management Agency, um, we needed to document our um, estimated costs, of which I gave you an idea that $34,000 was attributable to uh, personnel costs. I had uh, the total cost, that, uh, the, the additional costs that we have, and these are estimates, would be $113,000 for um, repairs to utilities and parks, so that would be the water department um, and any of the park and recreation facilities. Uh, $90,000 for repairs to roads and bridges, so those would include culverts, <coughs> catch basins and such. $82,000 for public buildings and equipment, so that would be any public building that would have been damaged. Um, including the $34,000 that I alluded to earlier for wages, that would bring it to a grand total of $319,000, which is the amount that uh, that was submitted to the Commonwealth for reimbursement. Can you can you break down those numbers one more sure, time? Sure. Let me start over again. $113,000 for um, utilities and parks. $90,000 for roads and bridges. $82,000 for public buildings and equipment, and $34,000 for personnel costs. Greg, does the public buildings include the uh, school buildings, or is that separate? No, it would include the school buildings. Right, the school buildings would be located in here. Matter of fact, I'm looking at it right here. So, um, so the process here is uh, you fill out a ton of paperwork, 
we've Basically. we've done that. We've sent in the initial damage assessment to Mass Emergency Management. <coughs> if it's declared a federal disaster, um, then the um, town is required to do a more substantive accounting of its costs, and so we'll need to go through that process. And then down the road, the potential is for the town to receive 75% um, reimbursement on its costs. So 75% of the approved costs would be subject to reimbursement by the federal government, not by the Commonwealth. And that is not, would not be coming this fiscal year. And it's also does not include any damages of this current storm. Correct. And depending upon what happens with this storm, there'll be additional costs associated with that. Would there potentially be any insurance coverage? Yes. Through the town versus if we don't get any reimbursement yes. through the state or federal government? Uh, on the um, <coughs> certainly on, on the repairs to the, the buildings, the buildings would be um, buildings and equipment we do have insurance for. for. We carry a fairly high deductible. My recollection was in the range of $5,000. So we would, we would be able to um, seek reimbursement for that. Uh, probably not on the, the, the bridges. Um, and the damage to the utilities and parks, if there's damage to a, a water pumping station, then that's eligible for recovery, recovery from our insurance company. But if there's uh, damage to, let's say, ball fields or playing fields or washed out, then we're probably not going to see reimbursement for that. What was the uh, deductible again? <clears throat> 5000 So, Greg, uh, are you proposing that these are budget amendments? I, I last group here, or, or are you just providing us information? No, I, I would suggest that you, you consider, um, <clears throat> given the event that's taking place right now, which will further tax the reserve fund, that we consider a transfer of $34,000 to the salary pool specifically for the purposes of uh, supplementing personnel costs associated with the storm event, which began on March 12th. Well, you, you've already said that, though. Right. Yep. That was earlier. Yeah. Okay. That, that's all. I'm, no, I'm not asking for anything more other than those two items. So it would be the storm reimbursement and the veterans reimbursement. I'm not asking for any of the additional costs that we've okay. enumerated here. Okay, and that here. would come probably from uh, surplus in the uh, county retirement account or... Right. Hey. Honestly, we're hopeful, but... The federal disaster has not, as mentioned to the board earlier, has not been extended to for public No, no, I projects. understand. Yeah. So we don't know whether we'll ever see another dime of this money. No, so I'm, I'm not concerned about coming. that. Yeah, I'm we, thinking we, about the utilities and, and parks, the roads, the right. public buildings, and those, those three items. I'm not comfortable bringing those items at this point because those costs, unlike the, the wages, um, those costs are merely... Um, broad level estimates. Um, the wage number is something that you can track back yeah. fairly easily. The, right. the others so, are. Okay, I just wanted to get general. an understanding of what you wanted to just, add just the to the budget amendment. Just the wages. Okay. But my, Steve. My, my concern, uh, Greg, is that uh, we're not going to take up, I mean, this is budget amendment for the special town meeting. The next time we're going to be talking about dollars and cents is June. I know. Um, my guess is that we're going to have some costs incurred in order to uh, repair some of the damage that's been done. And again, th there may be some money down the road that gets reimbursed. If that's the case, uh, if we have some sources of revenue, um, or not revenue, but uh, surplus in some other accounts to help cover those initial costs along with maybe some transfers from the reserve account to do that, we should be considering it now, I think, rather than waiting until June. We get two, three months out. And then we don't know whether it's coming back or not. And eventually, if there's any reimbursement, whether it be from insurance companies or the federal government, it's going to end up in the, in the general fund. Why anyway. can't it wait until June? I think the roads are going to be in pretty deplorable condition uh, in short order. Uh, and again, I don't know what the extent of the damage we have got a full report as far as some of the bridges. I mean, as Jeff pointed out, the, well, I mean, there's, there's uh, the, the Park Street Bridge is, is about to be, it needs to be replaced anyway. We've got <laughs> a pretty good washing the last couple of weeks here with, with a lot of... Uh, I mean, who knows what the damage that is as far as the impact on, on, the, on the flow of the river 
yeah, that that whole yeah. I mean, it's slowly. like some of the 